You ready? You ready? Let's do it. All right, early round action here as we get a look at Uzbekistan's Shavkat Rachmanov. He has taken the UFC welterweight division by storm. He's got a whole lot of momentum coming in here tonight. Believes he'll have the grappling advantage, but he also said to us midweek, if this is a kickboxing match, I think I can thrive in that realm as well. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Beautiful hook. Huge knee lands from Nico. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Hook to the head there by Rachmanov. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Rachmanov gets touched by that kick there. Lands a big elbow there. Now lands a kick to the body. So more output, at least in the early going. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Circling to his right. Oh, nice. Oh, Superman punch lands. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Just over three minutes to go round one. Oh, nice inside kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Just misses with a left hook there. Front kick to the body by Rachmanov. Let's go, boys. The ball fighter starting to open up a little bit. Malat gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Beautiful little hook. Oh, collar tie. Up. Oh, nice punishing kick to the bottom. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Hands up. Hands up. Nice body shot. That's some power there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Nice punch to the head. Big shot to the body. Straight right, he misses. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. Jim. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Straight right is there. You know, I got to tell you, I'm not sure that his face could be 
much more swollen at this point in time. You gotta raise that guard. You gotta get the high guard. I mean, at this point, John, you gotta forget everything else and get the guard up high, keep the elbows in tight, and try to make sure that nothing lands clean on your face. Oh, wow. Every time, you're gonna just get more and more swollen. All right, that is it for that round. Malat's eye starting to look pretty bad. He absorbed a lot of damage over those five minutes. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about that. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, go. round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Straight punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He heard him. Now we're going. And now he lands a combination. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Once you free your knee from the hips, you have a chance. This man was so good at staying calm in the face of adversity. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This, this guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. result here tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ just watch how slowly he approaches the submission though he never rushes he takes his time but it's his trickiness it's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Sean Conn.